Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I want to review for you this beautiful deck here, the Animal King Oracle. Okay, this is a deck that I don't see many people talking about it, but it's really a beautiful deck, okay? 65 cards, deck and the guidebook, okay, from Sarah Wilder. It is a Hay House, okay, um, production. And you can see it comes in this beautiful sturdy deck here. Okay, it's quite big, okay, guys? It really is like 65 cards deck. Very few decks come with this many cards. And I feel like they are really lovely, and I really have not seen much of them. You can see they come in this beautiful, you can see here the, the box is really sturdy and lovely. Everything is matte, okay, it's really lovely to touch. And you can see this beautiful back here, lovely, lovely quality. Okay, it's, uh, you can see here, chunky enough guidebook, a full page, page and a half for each. You can see the picture and the information. It is 174 pages guidebook. And like always, I will go to flip through and we mix at the end and you get one card for us, like a message of the day for us today. And then we see like a message that, that you can find in the guidebook. So you have an idea what is on the guidebook, okay? Guys, beautiful quality, okay? This is like really sturdy, completely matte, okay? The beautiful, beautiful backs. I really like this one. Lovely. And we'll see here. Okay, they have a keyword. You can see we'll, see we'll have the animal. They also have a number here. My one is not in order because I have used, and you can see here, a small number. Okay, this number six here. You can see some symbols, and you can see the name of the animal and one keyword. Okay, which is like perfect. And you can look into the animal, have some maybe intuition messages coming to you as well. But of course, you can use the guidebook, like message of the day, reading for yourself, reading for others, adding on to tarot readings. I feel like this is a deck that even I need to use a bit more because it's so beautiful and it really has not uh, been used enough in this channel. And uh, I'll, I need to add them more here. And I feel like more people needed to see about this deck. It's really beautiful. The, um, the borders here, it's like a part of the animal, the color of the animal as well. So each one will be different. You see here, just this, this one is uh, Jabiru Foundation. And uh, just to compare here, like as well as the size, I always compare. This is a little bit bigger, like normally Oracle decks are. Okay, you can see here. This is Light Sears or, or Standard Oracle uh, Tarot size okay and you can see here completely matte and it really has a lovely feel okay it is a good quality and uh, they they don't get stuck too much into each other you can see here orangutan creation and they will have some keywords that are really similar to the animal itself and you'll see that on the guidebook okay the message on the guidebook is really good and we'll explain about the animal and the message then for you what the oracle message that you can get okay you can see here the pheron and the nurture Big abundance. I'll go quickly enough with them because they're like, you know, 65 cards here. But I'll definitely mix at the end and we will see how the guidebook has, you know. So I'll, I'll, we'll see how they talk about the animal and how you can actually apply that into your life. Very, very interesting. Crab trust. Dog forgiveness. And the colors are beautiful. You can see here the color is similar to the color of the animal. Dolphin play. And uh, it's like a, it's like a big borders, but at the same time, it's part of the animal, the color of the animal. So it's it's beautiful. So in that case, it's a beautiful border. You can see here, guys, the number is very small. But in case if you use numerology as well, dragonfly, imagination. You can see here, buffalo, gratitude, cicada, cycles, cow, nourishment. Beautiful, beautiful colors, guys, in this deck. 65 cards. Lot of cards. Peacock inspiration. Beetle purity. Cat mystery. Lovely. Let's see here. The crow magic. The colors are really lovely. Frog healing. I really like that it's similar to the animal color. You can see moth awareness. Owl intuition. Beautiful. You can see the, the, the keywords go together with the animal as well. Pray mantis, patience. And you'll learn more about that in the guidebook. The, the guidebook is really good. Spider, dream weaver. Swan, harmony. Very good here. The unicorn, miracles. Wagtail, essence. 
can always pause the video okay guys i'm going a bit quick because 65 cards but just so you see here white tiger vision i'll leave like always the details below as well beautiful eagle strength woodpecker opportunity bear protection they're very thick you know i'm thinking that i have two here when i don't bluebird pleasure beautiful look at these colors oh look at this butterfly change lovely lovely colors oh, i can see here how cute to the elephant compassion i'm always thinking that i have two guys this is how thick it, it, it is like very good quality giraffe per perception hummingbird joy beautiful acceptance for the ibis jaguar you can see here intention lovely look at the face and this here is the cover here you know the kingfish the kingfisher piece beautiful we have here the cook abura amusement octopus intelligence alpaca curiosity beautiful colors wow again i'm thinking that i have to here when i don't the bee power Camel celebration, cardinal passion, fox solitude, the gecko sensuality, snake transformation. We have duck knowing, flamingo community, beautiful colors, jellyfish flow. Have the manta ray presence parrotfish authenticity seahorse love how cute starfish sensitivity i'll hold them all here we have uh, turtle longevity definitely you see how the, the keywords go together with the animals are well community deer grace Beautiful. Gold grounded. Water dragon balance. Lion confidence. Beautiful card. Phoenix renewal. You can see, guys, like you can see how the keyword goes perfectly together with the animal. Lady Beetle luck. Lovely. Chameleon energy. Horse motivation. Beautiful. Guys, you can see here, the colors are really lovely. The back as well, you know, you can see here so, so many colors, you know, beautiful, beautiful. The keywords, it's like, it's like simple to the point. Like, I really like this, like, you can see like the beautiful colors here and um, like the keywords and let's mix it together and get uh, some messages from the guidebook. You'll see how the guidebook is really lovely, guys. Beautiful as well. Like I said, the quality, it's really good, okay? It's even a little bit hard to shuffle if you don't use them all the time. But the moment you start using, you know, it will, it will separate them. But uh, definitely good ones. Let's see what we get here, guys. Okay. We got the Wombat Exploration. I think this one that I was just passing in the beginning without reading. Okay. And you can see here, very small. It's the number 12 here, okay? So it's easy to find here on the book, number 12 okay like it's not uh, too much but it's like yeah page and a half a full page okay the one bath exploration and you can see here is earth as well okay saying earth here king essence the key to balancing all of life's calling is to explore innovative solutions the one bath is one of the world's largest burrowing animals they excavate a burrow that becomes their daytime dwelling only venturing out as the sun sets to eat grasses, leaves, and roots. Their often grand homes under the ground consist of up to 12 burrows, although they tend to use only a few as they more frequently dwellings. The wombat can be quite possessive of their burrow, so they tend to leave plenty of scent behind to mark their territory. They have very few predators in their natural habitat in Australia, meaning that they can wander and explore without many treats. They are robust and unaffected by cold climates, hence why they are often found in mountainous snowy regions. 
a largely solitary animal, the wombat show us that self-exploration, as well as real-world exploration, is essential to all souls' growth and development. They also teach us the importance of having a beautiful home base that we feel is ours and ours alone, physically, mentally and spiritually. Unlike most marsupial mammals, the wombat has a reverse pouch to rear and store their young, allowing them to continue on with the things they enjoy, digging, borrowing and uprooting things with minimal hydrants or impact upon the lives of those they love. Wombats are true masters of balancing duty and passion. You can see here, guys, how interesting the book connects, you know, the animal, the way they live, what they do, with the things that what we can learn with them. You know, so this is what the, is the beautiful thing about this guidebook as well, is how they show the way about the, the animal. You know, always the book will talk a little bit about the animal, what they do and what you can learn with them. In this case here, how they, they can balance their lives, you know, how they love their, their houses, but they take their their small ones and carry on with their lives. They don't stop doing what they like. So this is very interesting here message for us as well. You see, guys, beautiful, beautiful deck. I really don't see this deck enough, people talking about them. So I really wanted to have this. I do have this for a while. I, I have used this in some of my bigger cards, but I have not used as much. And I do want to bring it back as well. So I, I wanted to bring this here for you guys to see. So definitely, guys, a deck that is really interesting. The cards are beautiful and the guidebook is really good as well. So something that you really may want to consider adding to your collection. All the details will be below like always. And if you like this video, guys, let me know. Leave me a comment. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.